Hey there Virgo, it's me Kit. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Kit. I'm going to do a quick reading for you guys today for the week of October 18th through the 24th. First, we'll pull some overall energy for you and then we'll go into tarot. And I have to tell you, um, the, the, the energy this week is so different than the energy of last week. So different. All of my reads have been calmer. They've been, they, they've just, it's just a whole different energy. And I'm wondering if the reason is Mercury retrograde. Last week was just like, oof, -a. it was, I'm glad that last week is over. Let me tell you. I don't know if any of you guys went through a crazy week, but I certainly did. So let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what is the overall energy for my Virgo people, please? October 18th through the 24th, 2020. What is the overall energy for Virgo, please? This one. Virgo. Announcement. Okay. So somebody's ready to make an announcement, whether it's you or somebody else. Let's see. We'll pull some tarot. Spirit, what can you tell Virgo for the week of October 18th through the 24th, 2020? What does Virgo need to know, please? What does Virgo need to know? Messages for Virgo. So yeah, I open my window. It's a crisp day. Have my music going. I meditated. I have a candle going. It's a nice quiet morning. What does Virgo need to know, please? Three shuffles. What does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know, please? Three. Okay. The the third one was a half shuffle. <laughs> okay. Messages for Virgo. Temperance. The devil. And the seven of wands. Ooh, Virgo. Underneath the deck, we have the empress. And underneath that, we have the tower. All right, something's going on here. Pull some clarifiers. Spirit, what can you tell Virgo for the week of October 18th through the 24th? What does Virgo need to know, please? Please clarify the cards on the table for Virgo. October 18th through the 24th. Okay. Why is the temperance card here for Virgo? Why is the temperance card here for Virgo, please? Clarify the temperance card for Virgo, please. Clarify the temperance card. Thank you. The Six of Swords. I had a feeling something like that. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here for Virgo? One card for the devil, please. Why is, thank you. The lovers, yeah. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Thank you. The 
Page of Cups. Underneath the deck, we have the Justice card. Under that, we have the Eight of Swords. Okay. Virgo, I feel like, and I was feeling it before I even pulled the Clarifier cards, I feel like you are um, trying very hard to hold back from announcing that you um, want to move on in a relate um, from a relationship with somebody I feel like with the temperance card and the six of swords you know things have been pretty rocky for you guys and I feel like you're you're wanting to state that at this time you just want to move on you don't you don't want to um, work on this anymore I feel like with the lovers and the devil I feel like it, it's been a fairly toxic relationship. You may love this person. You may feel like this person um, was the one for you. With the, the Page of Cups, I feel like you do have love for this person. But with the Seven of Wands, I just feel like, you know, you, you, you kind of want to take a break, move on a little bit, and you know, do your own thing for a while. And I think you know that, you know, when you do state this there will be a tower moment um we could pull a couple of more cards let's see spirit what can you tell virgo regarding this the messages on the table regarding this reading please what does virgo need to know what can you tell virgo please what can you tell virgo please what can you tell virgo please Just for Virgo. This is just for Virgo. This one. We have circles and completion. Yeah, I feel like you at this point you feel like you know this the cycle is done. The cycle is done. And then I'm actually picturing this here on this card and then with the Empress as well um, I feel like this this cycle is completed let me pull another card I feel like things weren't balanced you have the Justice card at the bottom of the deck of the other deck as well I just feel like you're you, you're done Virgo please one more card for Virgo One more card, please. For Virgo. One more card. Nope. One more card for Virgo. Thank you. We got a couple. Let's see. How many did we get? We got two. I'll take them. All right, we have the 888 card, and it's new opportunities and abundance are coming your way soon. So yeah, with the new opportunities, I feel like, you know, you're moving on. Um, with hammer and force, I feel like things might get a little heated. I saw the tower card, and I feel like, you know, things might just be, you might have to be very stern and just um, not sugarcoat you know, speak your truth, make the announcement, and do what you have to do. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, what messages do you have for Virgo, please? October 18th through the 24th, 2020. What messages do you have for Virgo, please? We'll pull this one last card for you guys. Messages for Virgo. It's for Virgo, please. Thank you. I think we got two. Let's see. Don't let pride get in your way. And look at the bigger picture. Yeah. You know, you're looking long term at this, and you don't see this long term happening so Virgo 
if this resonated with you, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. I hope you guys have a great week and I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.